Hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain about uh, the switching power reduction. Okay. So here, if we consider the equations, what we got uh, in the previous discussion uh, about uh, the switching power, that is uh, P average is equal to alpha T multiply with C load, VGD squared and clock frequency F. Okay. Or we can have P average is equal to summation of uh, I is equal to one to number of nodes alpha ti ci vi multiply with the vdd f clock okay so these two are the equations so from these equations we can have one conclusion that so the average dynamic power is directly proportional with the number of nodes or the uh, node uh, transformation factor okay uh, next one is uh, the capacitor load capacitance and the power supply and the clock frequency so all the parameters, whatever we have in this equation are uh, increases the average or the dynamic power consumption, average dynamic power consumption, because all are directly proportional. Okay. So now we'll go with what are the methods to reduce this one. So if you consider this equation, if you reduce any one of these parameters, whatever we have alpha T, uh, C load and VDD squared, and at the same time clock frequency, so we can reduce the average uh, dynamic power, okay? But here we have some problems. Uh, if we consider the clock frequency, so if you increase the clock frequency, what happened here? There will be increasing in the power consumption, okay? But if you decrease the clock frequency, the speed will be reduced, okay? It will affect the performance of the corresponding circuit, okay? So that's why we don't uh, increase or decrease the clock frequency, okay? Next, uh, here we have the average switching power dissipation expressions of CMOS logic gates suggest that we have several different means of uh, means for reducing the power consumption. These measures include reduction of the power supply, okay, uh, that is uh, voltage VDD. Next one is reduction of the voltage swing in all nodes, okay. Next one is uh, reduction of the switching probability, net reduction of uh, load capacitance. So any one of these, uh, uh, if you reduce uh, what happened here, the average dynamic power will be reduced, okay? So now the switching power dissipation is also a linear function of the clock frequency, but if you decrease that one, what happened here, the speed or performance of the circuit will affect. That's why we don't go with the clock frequency, okay? Next one is the best method to decrease this uh, average power uh, reduction that is average dynamic power reduction or uh, switching power reduction is nothing but by reducing the power supply voltage. Okay, that is the main uh, important method we have. The reduction of power supply voltage is one of the most widely uh, practiced uh, measures for low power design. In particular, we need to consider that reducing the power supply voltage leads to the increasing the delay. So without increasing the delay, we have to maintain, we have to take the measures uh, to reduce the power supply voltage VDD so, uh, to reduce that uh, average power consumption, average uh, uh, dynamic power consumption. Okay, so this is what here, how we can reduce, what are the methods uh, to reduce this uh, dynamic power consumption. Okay, right? Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel.